I got a couple of messages about this while I was at work yesterday and it was a very long day and my plan was whilst I was all suited and booted for work to get home react to this video then go to bed the very fact that I'm saying these words means that I probably missed out on a bit of an important step there I got home I got changed I fell asleep is the actual order of things that happened so it is now 2 13 a.m i'm up for the day because my sleep pattern is is very strange um i'm planning on doing some other metroidvania things after i've done this but i'm going to watch this because it is a sequel that has been announced to ender lilies and i really liked ender lilies it took me a little while and admittedly I did say some slightly harsh things about Ender Lilies towards the start because the dodge where Lily throws herself onto the floor and belly flops that you start the game with, not very good, didn't feel great and I was somewhat reticent about the game because of that i love the art i love the music i i like what they were going for story-wise but it's like that just feels bad and then of course as soon as we got our hands on the actual game after the the demo section um you get the the air dash move like almost straight away it's like this completely changes the feel of the game and from then on i really really enjoyed it it wasn't the most challenging game in places but it, it did have the odd kind of difficulty spike i can't actually remember what i said in my because i did a playthrough of this for for the channel so the fact that it's getting a sequel is really interesting not because it's more of that you know kind of thing i'm assuming but it's always interesting to see what kind of iteration and evolution a developer might have taking on board the feedback from the first game in a series so things that i would probably hope for just thinking back to ender lilies i would like a better feeling dash right from the start i'm assuming they're going to be making it in the same engine Can we hope for a better map? Don't get me wrong, the fact that Ender Lily's map was isn't really very good has has made me a little bit of money. You know, um, the Ender Lily maps that I put out, admittedly, they were on Steam, so they were just stolen by a lot of tips websites. They they were one of the big the big ones. Um between Ender Lilies and Grime, they were the two kind of big games where my maps got nicked and covered in adverts. But can we hope for an actual map system, a better map system, a system more like Hollow Knight or Prince of Persia or, you know, something along those lines? The one thing that I loved about Ender Lilies' map system was something that Blast Brigade actually has done it's one of the few things that i will praise that game for the the resident evil style color changing when you've got everything in a particular room can we hope for a better map that's not everything that i'm interested in metro is obviously but it is it's it's a fairly significant issue with the original and lilies let's take a watch of the trailer i've not set this up properly so hopefully it will work a tale of destruction and renewal unfolds in this return to the Ender Lilies world. This once flourishing Ooh. country sits atop a wealth of buried magic. The land of fumes. Homunculi, artificial life forms created as the country flourished, were meant to bring about a brighter future. Ba, 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 ba. 
Elder Magnolia Bloom in the Mist. As Lilac, you'll reluctantly bond with and journey alongside a homunculus who played a pivotal role in the country's demise. Okay. When the magic buried beneath the surface became corrupted, same setup but future. Upward to escape its reach. Quality of this isn't great, but is it? Those who lacked power and wealth remained abandoned. Same font, above. same art style. Along your journey, you'll battle rampaging homunculi. We've got a map in the corner. An actual map. Them, the creations will join you on your adventure, becoming your companions and lending their aid. Yeah, so the the exact the same and the setup. The end of their journey. Find out when Ender Magnolia Bloom in the Mist launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Available this year. Interesting. Demise. Now, obviously, this was announced at the Nintendo Direct. So, I'm assuming it will come to PC as well? Question mark? Bold assumption. To be fair, realistically, this looks like more of the same. And for some people, that's going to be a negative straight away. Oh, it looks just like Ender Lilies. Where's the innovation? Where's the change? Where, where's the new things? Um, for me, that's fine because I liked what the first game was doing. I don't necessarily need them to reinvent the wheel. You know, we've got our Healy things up at the top here. We've got our weapon swappy things, our spirit powers or our homunculi. They're going to be this... It looks like the same systems with a different flavour of coating. And that that is fine for me because I liked the feel of the game after we got the dash. Uh, but obviously the, the thing that I have noted, I mean, this, this all looks very, very similar. The, the art style, the lighting, the font choices, the only difference is the kind of theme or tone or, or setting. Yeah, you know, we've got a, a, a somewhat androgynous young person as our main character. Uh, no dress on this one. I, I'm assuming Lilac is a she. But yeah, um, maybe the dress was was difficult to to animate. But obviously the the big, yeah, I think this would have been much nicer with a crisper. Uh, yeah, this is this is only 1080p. Uh, but the the, the the big obvious thing is that we have got a map in the corner. It's a detailed map. It's made up of different rooms. And whilst this may look very, very similar, shall we say, to Ender Lilies in terms of the art style, the combat systems, and so on and so forth, I know for a fact... That a map like that is probably quite a different way of working for them. Because the thing about Ender Lily's map, the first game, Ender Lily's, is that it doesn't fit together. It does not fit together properly at all. Each of the rooms is made separately with no particular particular regard for a sense of scale which is why all of the doors and lines and stuff on the the original game map don't really link up very well at one point i tried taking the the screenshots that i did for the end of the map and actually fitting them together into a coherent world and it does not work it doesn't work it is if any of you have seen the the kind of hollow nest project where the the entire map of Hollow Knight, the entire game world of Hollow Knight, is put together in the style of the map and all of the things that they had to go through in order to fit it together because it doesn't quite fit right. They fudged some details, they cheated some bits. And the Lilies was far, far, far worse. And I realised very quickly that if I wanted to try and create the game world of Ender Lilies, it, it just wasn't going to work. The rooms were very clearly set up as as individual things because it's made in Unreal Engine. You can you can play around with the camera and stuff in that really really easily. 
So to go from that, where I imagine they had a reasonable chunk of freedom just to create these individual rooms, to something like this, where everything actually needs to fit it together into a map that is coherent and makes sense with bits like that. Yeah, I'm assuming these are... No, this is this is all going to be one room, isn't it? So we've, we've got the the kind of room outlines, and hopefully that means that we'll still get some of that indicator that we got in End of Lilies of, ah, oh, this particular room is complete. But that's a very different style of map from a technical level, um, but also, of course, from an aesthetic level because you're going to have a mini-map in the corner. So that's that's very, very interesting. The fact that it's coming out this year as well is is interesting. I'm just going to go and check if this is going to be available on the PC. Right, this is the game's official website. There's nothing really here, but we've got the logo. We've got a countdown until the next info reveal. But more importantly, and we maybe shouldn't read too much into this, but down in the, the copyright stuff at the bottom, we've got Valve mentioned, we've got Steam and Steam logo, we've got Switch, and we've got PlayStation and Xbox. So one assumes that they're bringing this to all platforms. It just happened to be that Nintendo gave them some money to, to announce. Because uh, Ender Lilies was quite popular on Switch, from what I can remember. So 84 hours from now is going to be, what are we, with the 22nd? So that's going to be the 26th? No, with the 23rd today, of course we are. Can't do maths in my head. Yeah, it's three days, so it's, it's going to be sometime on the 26th, Japanese time, because it's a, it's a Japanese company. So... There's not a lot else I can say to that, is there? Let's see what what other information I can find. Nothing. There's not really any information out there whatsoever short of, of what is there in the trailer. So we've got to wait a couple of days to to find out what is going to happen and, and what is involved. Um, the, the one thing I saw was that people were saying, oh, it's a Switch exclusive. It's like... Possible. But if it was, would you bother putting this stuff here? Probably not. It might come out initially on the Switch. Which would be a mistake, in my opinion. Because whilst it was popular on the Switch, Metroidvanias as a genre are... You know, it's got a big PC following as well. I think they would... I think they struggle sales-wise if they, they release exclusively on the Switch. I mean, if they do, I wouldn't be playing it because I don't have one. Um, you know, releasing games purely on the Switch when the Switch is known to be a pretty impotent machine in 2024 would be not a great marketing decision, I think. But I'm pretty certain we're going to get a PC release as well so i'm looking forward to this you know i liked the first game i am intrigued as to what under the hood changes they will have had to go through in order to to get this map system working as it does you know how they will have that will change how they build the wall they won't need to make a lot of changes don't get me wrong they won't need to try to make a lot of changes in order to get this world fitting together it's just that when they are designing the rooms they will actually need to fit them together in the prototyping stages as opposed to just the the kind of box and spoke kind of, what, what what did i even call it the kind of linked room style map that they had looking forward to seeing some more information uh, and if the information that comes out in a couple of days is interesting i, I might do a follow-up video on this but those are my thoughts for those of you that asked because there were a small number of people that did ask on twitter and coffee and in youtube bits and pieces like have you seen this it's like in fact i'm not sure whether i ever replied to everybody this is my reply apologies that it's come out as a video as opposed to just be typing something to you but here we go my reaction to the end of magnolia bloom in the mist trailer apologies that i sound a bit stuffy 
I've been working with children, and children are full of colds right now, and therefore so am I. Thank you for watching. Stay safe out there. Cheerio. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.